I am Palm Beach County's Regional Clinical Training Coordinator. Some of the duties include being a men or mentoring our student analysts, uh, doing trainings with our behavior assistants, setting up study sessions so that those who are looking to get their certification as a BCABA or BCBA can be prepared for the exam. Uh, my journey started with ABA as a research assistant in Dr. Iwata and Dr. Volmer's labs at UF. And once I graduated from UF, I came back down to South Florida because I had some time off between my undergrad experience and my grad school um, start date. And I had gotten referred to an analyst who no longer lived in South Florida who then referred me to Mike Nolan. And after interviewing with him, I got hired as a behavior assistant in January 2011. And there I worked uh, with Shannon O'Leary, who was my analyst, and she was fabulous and was my mentor throughout that experience, which then helped me transition to grad school at FSU. And once I graduated from FSU in May 2013, I took the board exam and passed on the first try, and then was able to come back down here to South Florida to be an analyst full-time with PBS. But the reason why I came back to PBS after getting my certification was really because of the relationships I had previously established with PBS as an assistant. I knew that coming back to PBS as an analyst, I would have the support I would need to continue growing as an analyst because once you become certified, it doesn't mean that your education ends. You really do need to have the support of analysts who have been there before you to make sure that you're successful in the field. One of my very favorite clients that I've ever worked with that I seem to find the most success with was a family who just believed that their daughter would have no ability to speak, to request for things. Um, they really didn't know what to expect from her. She was very, very young and was just starting ABA and this was all very new to them. The diagnosis of autism was new to them. And then to come into treatment and having people in their homes almost constantly was a little much for them. But when we got her to first say her first words, that's when I saw the parents light up and really get what we were doing in their house and things kind of just progressed from there. So that was really rewarding. PBS has given me so many different opportunities, whether it be to continue my education through in-house trainings or to attend FABA, which I love. I think FABA is fantastic. I have never missed a FABA, thankfully, because of PBS. Um, I have been able to grow as an analyst, uh, explore different areas of behavior analysis through working with the school district contract, working with cases I may not have ever been comfortable working on before, and having that mentorship from other analysts who could prepare me for those cases. And also now as a training coordinator, I'm doing what I really love, which is mentoring those who are moving up into the field and really need the support, especially here in South Florida where we're not by a major university uh, that has an ABA program.